Shiba Inu has in fact flipped bullish. We are seeing some things play out in the chart that are in fact very good for the Shiba Inu price long term. But you have to remember these can change at any time. And as always, this is not financial advice. Now, what we're seeing is Shiba Inu has completely kicked this trend that it's had for months and months, this downtrend, this consolidation that's been playing out basically since the beginning of February. We are finally seeing some semblance of new direction. Shiba Inu has formed this new trend line and it's beginning to work its way to the upside. And we have something very cool happening just over the next few days here. It looks like by the 21st, Shiba Inu has a decision to make. It's going to continue to follow this trend to the upside, or if we're going to get rejected by this 20 day moving average, which Shiba Inu has struggled with recently and start to be moved to the downside. Okay. At the same time that this is playing out in the charts right here, we've also seen a cross on the MACD line, very bullish move. This typically means some movement to the upside. It's again, showing that there is a trend change, more buyers than sellers. And that's what Shiba Inu needs right now. This new pump that we're seeing, I think has sparked a lot of confidence in buyers, right? It's the reason why when we look at these charts here, you know, Shiba Inu just flipped to the red because of how much upside we had yesterday, but it's outpacing the rest of the market right now. This is, this is a great thing to see. Now, at the same time, while this is going on, you have to remember one thing. We're not in a bull market yet. This isn't a bull run or anything like that. Shiba Inu is kind of doing this on its own right now. So there's always this potential for a pullback. At the same time, we're not in alt season. What we've actually seen right now is something interesting going on with Bitcoin. When we look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, we are actually seeing the highest Bitcoin dominance we've seen in two years. Okay, so this is even dating back to the last market cycle, which is a very key point here. Usually Bitcoin begins to gain dominance before the Bitcoin halving. Okay, that's really what we're experiencing right now. We're seeing a lot of this capital shift away from altcoins and go back to BTC. That leads me to believe that there's uh, maybe possibly some negative news ahead. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on from a macro standpoint, and people are looking for something that they consider to be a little safer, right? We'll use that that quiet, you know, the air quotes, because obviously there's no guarantee that Bitcoin's safer than some other assets out there. But Bitcoin dominance has actually been on the rise throughout 2023. In fact, it's actually gained, what, about 7%. That's actually a very good run for Bitcoin. I think Ethereum has actually been working its way up slowly. Yeah, Ethereum's been working its way up slowly, but surely too. Eventually, there will be this shift back. You will see capital flow back into altcoins, Shiba Inu being one of them, right? Shiba Inu right now is obviously sitting at the, let's flip back. Shiba Inu is obviously sitting at the 17th spot right now, but it's very close to flipping BUSD. It's very close to flipping DAI again too. It can work its way up through here if there are some more good days that are stacked on top of each other, especially if the, the global market continues to do what it's been doing as of late. But that's just what I'm seeing in the charts right now. We'll obviously see how this all plays out. Hopefully, Shiba Inu can continue to gain some good movements, continue to move to the upside. That would be obviously very bullish for SHIB. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a fantastic start to your week. And I truly hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.